Hello, welcome back to the channel Tarot Yogi. I'm Vineet, I read Tarot intuitively and, and today's reading is super special because it's a collaboration between me and Luca from Sourcelight Tarot. He's an amazing friend and fellow tarot reader. I love watching his readings. His energy is so clean. It feels like you're flying in the sky above the clouds. That's how his energy feels to me. And I've been really admiring his work for a long time. So it's, it's really an honor to work with you on this, Luca. And for today's topic, we are both going to be looking at your energy check-in for your Earth Star Chakra. That is what I'm going to be looking at, the more terrestrial. And he's going to be looking at your Soul Star Chakra, the more the more celestial part of your chakras. And just the way we have chakras inside our bodies, as within, so without. There are chakras outside our bodies. And we are connected to the Earth through the Earth's chakras. And we're connected to the celestial chakras through our Soul Star Chakra. So I thought it would be just the perfect reading for me and Luca to do. So definitely do go head out to his channel. Go show him lots of love. Let him know you came from Tarot Yogi. And having said that, we're going to be looking at your energy check-in for your Earth Star Chakra, your more terrestrial chakras. And we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one, we have our Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Pile number two, we have our Buddha Tarot. And pile number three, we have our lovely John Bauer Tarot. So take a minute, see what pile is being called to you intuitively. The description box below will have the timestamp for your pile. And again, remember these are general readings. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And definitely do go check out Luca's reading on his channel. Go show him lots of love. Let him know he came from Tarot Yogi. And I will see you guys in your reading. Thank you. Hello, pile number one. If you chose Tower of the Witch's Garden, this is your reading on your energy check-in with your Earth Star Chakra. And this is a collaboration between Source Light Tarot and me, where he's going to be looking at your energy check-in for your Soul Star Chakra, and I'm going to be looking at your Earth Star Chakra. So definitely do go head over to Luca's channel. Go show him lots of love. Let him know you came from Tarot Yogi. Check out the part of the reading that he did. And having said that, we'll jump into the reading on your energy check-in with your Earth Star Chakra. Okay, file number one, we have the Devil, we have the Temperance, we have Page of Pentacles, Strength, Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and Four of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing right away for your energy check-in is, file number one, you are at a very pivotal place in your life where right now it's really important that you take charge of every aspect of your life. I think you really need to assert your dominance over every part of your life right now because we do have the emperor in the place of the sixth chakra. So I really feel you are getting divine downloads. You're definitely getting a divine vision of what your future can look like. I think a lot of y'all are getting spontaneous psychic activations where you are finally able to see a way out of a situation that you thought was not something you could overcome. And another divine download I really think you're getting is that right now, at least, you need to be very resourceful and you need to conserve not just your energy, but all your pentacles. This could be your finances, this could even be your emotional energy, right? That also is currency. So those things you really need to be protective over because you will have a better use for your for your things over here. So you will have a more efficient way of using your resources is what I'm trying to say. So right now you need to be in this sort of like squirrel energy where you're just saving up for winter, if that makes sense, because it will be very useful for you in the future. And this might not make sense to you in real life, but I, I think you, you get what I'm trying to say over here. So it's, it's that quiet voice within your heart before the doubt that tells you that this is possible. So it's very important that you don't let your mind sort of ruin that for you, for you, because your mind, everyone's mind, it naturally does that. It's, it's a defense mechanism to, to want to have to doubt. And I think, I think you're also having a heart chakra activation because at the heart chakra space, we have the strength card. So 
you're definitely learning new ways you're definitely learning new skills as well and you're learning to deal with things in a more efficient way where you where you where you're not maybe responding or reacting to things how you used to maybe in the past you have a more calm and collected approach to whatever you're trying to get to over here so that is again very very beneficial for you so you might have people right now who might try to tell you otherwise but i think you know what is the best thing that you can do for yourself and i really feel that is what you need to follow and i think you also just need to follow beauty wherever you naturally feel called that your heart is tugging you towards that's where you need to go don't worry about even viewers for example if you, if you're like on youtube or something if if, you, if you're doing like a social media thing but whatever you do keep following your own calling because if you're worried about the viewers they will come so that was a specific message for someone in this file but understand that you are basically having upgrades i think that's the best way i can put it and there's also an invitation for you to maybe go go inwards and maybe find your solace in nature it's it's really important that you find that for yourself so go go out for a hike a trek just whatever is possible for you if you can walk bare feet on grass nothing like it you really need to ground yourself through these sort of higher activations that you're having by number 1 and it's very interesting at, at the root chakra we have the devil and the color of the root chakra is also red and this this whole card is very much in the shades of red so i think you're also being triggered at a very physical level right now to grow i'll give you an example i feel if you have been trying to avoid working out i think the pressure on you is building up to work out again fit it to your situation this just this just came to me so it's really important that you even have a better relationship with your body i do think you are a little abusive when it comes to treating your body and i i i i do feel it is something that we have to learn it's not something that is is taught to us so i think you just learning to respect your body more sometimes that means just going for a massage or just going and having the discipline to show up for your yoga practice gym whatever you do just that very basic discipline and tough love for yourself is going to really help you push forward in whatever you're trying to achieve over here by number one that is really the important message and i think you're very very humble i don't think ego is the problem with you by number 3 but you just learning to be a little more assertive in what you have to do and what you have to say will help you get more confident the confidence will only come once you start doing things so that is also a very important message for you and i do feel your energies have been very extreme at either of the end of the polarity but i do see you coming more into balance and i do feel this pile particularly a lot of you all might be single right now and that's not a bad thing because like i said you have to conserve your energies so you would have a better use for it in the future and this is everything this is your physical energy your emotional energy and everything in between so you just learning to even channel all that energy upwards is is going to be very helpful for you and i do feel like i said there are spontaneous activations in this pile and we have the wheel of fortune so there is divine timing at play over here and i know that is so frustrating when it comes out of a tarot reader's mouth but i really feel that is the case so a lot of you all i feel would be public speakers here of some kind or, or if not a public speaker you could even be a teacher right a teacher uses their voice the most so you could be doing something like that where just you speaking and you saying what you have to say will activate people sometimes when someone is going through something and they hear the same word but it would have a different effect on them because they're living it right so you will have this magical touch to your voice and 
definitely do check out Luca's reading because it would be very interesting to see how your energy is balanced out with your soul star chakra because you're getting downloads from below and you're getting downloads from up. So there is a lot of this energy moving upwards and downwards for you, which can be very intense. Hence, if you, if you can really take some time out for yourself and ground yourself, I think that would be amazing. And grounding yourself and working out or doing yoga, whatever floats your boat, do martial arts, whatever you like to do, do it. Because just moving your body every day, it, it raises your physical vibration, trust me. So just learning to show up for yourself. And I know I'm repeating myself, but I really feel this is the core message. It's the small, small things that you're able to change over a long period of time. That's how we transform. We cannot drastically just transform. So make this process easy on yourself by number one, if that makes sense. And really, really have true faith in your beliefs right now. And this is not blind faith. This is something you have earned with your own wisdom through your own life experiences and suffering. So know that you don't have to overspend your coins right now. You will have a better investment tomorrow. Yeah, I really feel that is the core message over here. Shuffle some Oracle. Okay, pile number one, we have card number 22, Rue. We have card number 20, Poppy, and we have Hawk, Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. So this is just confirmation for everything I have been trying to say over here. And definitely do check out Lucas' reading because I think he would have something very insightful for you to have in, in, in this reading. So... And also pay attention to your dreams right now. We do have the poppy card and the poppy card usually represents dreams. So really pay attention to your dreams, dream journaling, if you can, amazing. And I know a lot of people have messaged me and they, they feel journaling is very, very tedious. It doesn't have to be tedious. You don't have to write three pages. It doesn't have to be like an amazing poem every time or whatever. You know, even if you just write three lines for yourself and instead of just calling that one friend that you always call, instead of you dealing with that on your own, will make you so much more self-reliant and it will also help you grow at a, at a much accelerated speed, if that makes sense. And you're very, very protected right now. You're very divinely protected right now. From, from the lower realms and the higher realms. So how would you live your life right now if you had nothing to worry? How would you live your life right now if you had nothing to be anxious about? And, and that's the energy that you will be able to naturally shift into right now and get to it. And I think there's also a fear of you being misperceived. There's also a fear of you maybe being seen. So I think you need to just get more comfortable with being your vibrant self because you are very beautiful and you're meant to be seen by a lot of people by number one so don't don't even for a minute try to hide anymore i think and that is also linked to your destiny over here and the more you keep yourself in balance the more you realize that you don't have to react to everything you can just silently glide in the sky like the hawk you know not everything needs your attention because you are on a different level and that is the sort of core realization you really need to have over here, pile number one. There are definitely a lot of maybe illusions also right now that you will be able to clear out for yourself. There are maybe a lot of things that you're keeping yourself small. For example, a lot of y'all might want to travel. Do that. A lot of y'all might want to start something new. Go for it right now. You are in this very lucky time. You are in this very blessed time. Even if you're trying to achieve something creative over here, the ideas that you will get right now is, is really unmatched. You're definitely getting a beautiful downpour of energies, which you are supposed to use in this lifetime. So even if you might not act on all your ideas, just write them down. What I do is I write them down on my notes app on my phone because you, you don't always have a diary around, right? So just 
doing those things and understanding that there will be the right time for you to manifest whatever you're trying to manifest over here and you don't have to actually give up on any of your dreams that's a real realization you really need to have because that's the power you have over here by number one that's that's how i really feel and this is something you will be realizing about yourself the more you let go of the chains the more you set yourself free the more you start enjoying being in your body right now because oftentimes we we disassociate and we we leave our bodies right especially if you're psychic and spiritual it's very easy to leave your body and that is a lesson you're going to be learning in this lifetime to be a little more embodied to be a little more present to be a little more here and now and understanding that there is so much magic to be worked through that so big stuff for you and a very amazing fertile lucky happy time for you definitely try to try to keep your own personal diary of your experiences right now because even in the future i feel you will look back right now and feel it was a very magical time even if you don't feel that way right now and ground definitely ground grounding is, is so important i cannot stress that enough over here pile number one yeah any other way so just yeah that's all i have for pile number one again it's a general reading so please take what resonates leave the rest and if you like my style of reading please like this video share subscribe comment means a lot to tell the channel grow and if you want to reach out for private reading you can definitely do that my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out for private reading and definitely do check out source light tarot on his channel check out luca i will link his video in the title and i will leave a link to his video in the description box below so definitely do go ahead head over to his channel go show him lots of love let him know you're from tarot yogi and i will see you guys in the next video thank you Hello, by number two, if you chose the Buddha Tarot, this is your reading on your energy check-in with your Earth Star Chakra, and this is a collaboration between Source Light Tarot and me, where he's going to be looking at your Soul Star Chakra, and I'm going to be looking at your Earth Star Chakra. So definitely do go head over to Luca's channel. I will link it in the description box below. Check out the part that he did on the collaboration on his video on his channel. And having said that, we'll jump into the reading on. your energy check in for your earth star chakra okay pile number 2 we have empress we have magician we have the sun animal of vajra which is knight of swords in this deck we have two of vajras which is two of swords eight of lotuses which is eight of wands and we have ten of vajras which is ten of swords mm. so pile number 2 what i feel is happening with you is it feels like you are in the middle of a storm you are the eye of the storm that's what i really feel over here and it took me a minute to articulate what i was trying to say so i do feel you need some time to maybe gather your thoughts you you need some time out so you can come back to doing what needs to be done at your end because you are creating everything out of nothing we have the empress and we have the magician just one after the other and that is a very potent fertile creative energy so you are in a space right now where you might have been betrayed maybe you don't have a lot of people that are really for you and you really feel all alone right now but you need to be alone right now so you can create your empire that's what i really feel is happening with you and i do feel your circumstances haven't been the best but it has just fueled you to become the best version of yourself and i think you're very good at alchemizing all this trauma that you've had over the years and i feel it is fueling you right now as it should so right now is not the time to dilly dally for you right now is not the time for you to feel lucky right now is the time for you to really take strict aim and just hit bullseye because you will be able to because you have been seasoned through all your experiences and i know how you feel right now is not very comfortable but you you are feeling this way so you can make these drastic changes which would not happen for you otherwise so just keep being your humble self and i feel grace will follow over here and not just that you will also be really able to get 
a clear vision. I don't think you have a very clear vision on what you're trying to get right now. I think you have your eyes everywhere. Th there is no focus over here. And definitely check out Luca's reading because it would be very interesting to see what he has to say about your soul star chakra and your higher chakras because there is a lot of destruction but a lot of recreation that is also happening at your higher chakras and it is reflected as above so below so you're definitely experiencing something that is not the norm and don't let it scare you if it, it is if it's really happening to you it, it is meant to happen to you by number two and like i said you're supposed to create extreme changes for the better knowing that you will come out on the top over here by number two i, I think that is really the important message for you and I do feel you may you may have been at the wrong place at the wrong time and that wasn't the best thing that could have happened to you but you will heal you will be able to come back to yourself again in a way where you're not you're not so faced by things anymore if that makes sense and I feel there is, like I said, you don't have a very clear vision right now. So there is a lot of indecisiveness that you're facing, but understand that slowing down and going inwards is going to help you get the answer. Grounding yourself is going to help you get the answer. Just going out for a walk, bare feet on grass, that is going to help you shift your energy in your physical body and your physical chakras with the earth star chakra. You really need to go out by number two. To, to sort of make this easy on your body. It's like I'm getting the visual of a car heating up. And when a car heats up, we have to manually add water, right? So don't burn yourself out. And just because you have the capacity to take more, just because you have the capacity to burn so brightly doesn't mean you have to burn that bright all the time by number two. So a little more on the self-preservation end is is really required and I do feel your heart is in the right place despite all this despite all this chaos destruction reconstruction your heart is centered and it is at peace and you have clearly worked for it so be very proud of yourself to to really keep your calm in such extremities it's it's not easy to do and you're not going to have to carry so much load forever you will be able to put the weight down and that's why you really need to go connect with earth in whatever way you can it's it's really important that you do because it will again give you the rest you need to truly manifest yes you need to go out do your work every day but you also need to learn to be in your empress energy where you know that you have sown all the seeds and now you just have to wait for things to come to you and re and realize that you are deserving enough to get anything that you've always desired. So he really healing yourself at that root level is is important. I think this pile particularly you would be really good around a lot of trees. I think you really need that good earth energy to help you feel solid right now because you do want to take action and you are very inspired to take action and you should take action right now. But I don't want you to go haywire and I don't want you to really be helter skelter with what you're trying to do. So, like I said, having laser focus right now, having a fixed aim and and to really make sure that it doesn't waver because of people, places, things, whatever, you're still getting done. What needs to be done is, is sort of the key for you to really having victory over here. And like I said, all this is not going to last forever. You're going to come out so much better because of all this because you have cleared out so much for yourself, you're going to get so much abundance, not just in terms of money, home, happiness, but also spiritually, this pile. You will definitely ascend over here. And I see you, I see you getting more meditative, even if you're not into meditation. And you will find different ways to meditate. I also feel that in this pile very, very strongly. So if you feel indecisive, just go inwards. Don't, you don't need other people's opinions right now. 
I don't become. You really don't. I feel there is a real promise over here of everything that you have always wanted. But understand that in order to truly get what you want, first you have to sacrifice. And sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself, your older self, your your previous self. So allow yourself to go. Allow even let your mind, let it dissolve so it can come back online again. There's a real need for you to reboot yourself and give yourself enough rest so you're not you're not burning yourself out and you're not taking on too much than you need to. Boundary spy number two, that's also a very important message for you. But you have so much to look forward to. You really need to remember this, especially when you get through these difficult times. They will, they will pass. They definitely will pass. Things are not going to look like this for you forever. Things are going to really, really improve. Yeah. There is a lot of heavy energy, so sing, dance, do whatever it takes to raise your frequency over here. Because the more you think about these things, it, it will make you more sad. And it's it's sort of like a never ending loop, right? It's, it's an endless circle that only you can break. So redirect yourself, whatever you give your energy to expands. So be very mindful about where you're putting your focus, where you're putting your energy, what thoughts are you animating? What thoughts are you sort of pushing forward, right? It's very important right now. Yeah. Shuffle some more cards. Okay, pile number two, we have card number 13, Holly, and we have Elk Nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. So right now you really need to just put your foot down and do what needs to be done and handle business the way it needs to be handled. And right now you don't need a lot of noise around you. You don't need a lot of people around you. Even if you feel lonely, it's it's a it's a very temporary feeling and straight. So don't, don't bring yourself down. See how you can uplift yourself by yourself. You really need this bit of a solitude to again, maybe regroup and come up with even more solid ideas. Because I do think you have this unlimited creative well within you that you can just keep pulling from. So really, really follow your heart right now. And don't, don't spread yourself out way too thin. Maybe limit yourself to maybe two or three tasks max. Yeah. You are climbing a mountain over here and, and again, I'm noticing that the elk is crowned, so is the king on the holly card. So you are quite literally creating your own empire over here and how are you creating it? It is through this divine vision that you have. So definitely check out Lucas reading because it would be very interesting to see what he has to say on this. But you're definitely getting downloads firm up that you will be able to materialize in the real world. So you're quite literally a bridge between the upper worlds and the lower worlds right now, pile number two. Understand this. Understand you are the portal. It is you that the energy flows through. You are the channel. Don't, don't forget your own power. We, we forget when we get tired and we when we get really weary. So really give yourself some grace. It's it's really important that you do. And you will create beauty wherever you go. So don't, don't worry about that. You will only be refining your skills and your gifts. I really feel that. Yeah. I do feel right now, maybe you're not at your highest, you're not at your best and it's okay. You're getting there and make that journey fun for you as well. Right. It doesn't have to be all boring and mundane and it, it doesn't have to be colorless. You can make your journey fun on your own. So remember this and make it, make it fun for yourself because you're here for the long haul. You're here to really accomplish a lot of things by yourself. 
So don't forget this about yourself. You will climb any mountain that is in front of you. You, you won't just climb it. You will also make a castle at the top of the mountain. So don't underestimate or undermine yourself. Just because in the moment you feel that you can never get out of a situation, just pause, rest, come back to it. You will have a solution. Yeah. So it's a very powerful reading and it's a very transformational time for you. So really, really take it easy on yourself. Pile number two. And definitely check out Lucas reading. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. And if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I will see you guys in your reading. Thank you. No pile number three, if you chose the John Barber Tarot, this is your energy check-in for your Earth Star Chakra. And this is a collaboration between Source Light Tarot and me. And he's going to be covering your energy check-in for your Soul Star Chakra. And I'm going to be looking at your Earth Star Chakra. So definitely do go head over to his channel, go show him lots of love, let him know you came from Dari Yogi. And having said that, let's jump into the reading on your energy check-in for your Earth Star Chakra. Okay, by number three, we have Four of Swords, we have the Strength, we have Two of Cups, we have Judgment, Moon, Knight of Pentacles, and we have Ace of Wands. And we have Sun below the deck. So what I'm getting right away for you, by number three, is... You need to rest. You really need to find a way to rest. You need to find the time, the space to rest. You need to really take some time out for yourself. It's really important that you do so because you're very close to a burnout, I feel. And you're overextending your body. Maybe you're not sleeping enough. Maybe you're not eating properly or eating junk. Whatever the case may be, it's really important that you come back to yourself, to your physical body and not martyr your physical body for a greater cause, if that makes sense. Right now, being a little selfish with your own needs is going to be important. And I think you will be tested. I think people in your life will really provoke your boundaries. So be, be very firm with what you're ready to tolerate and what you're not ready to tolerate. And despite this, I do see a surge of energy in your body and I think you're learning to channel it but it is not as easy and I think my advice to you would be to always go for a more gentler approach because we have the strength card at the Swadhisthana Chakra so it's it's really important that you take more gentle approaches with whatever you're trying to do and to not go to the extreme ends on either side of the polarity to really keep yourself balanced but in a very gentle way in a very loving way I feel that is very important and I do feel you will come back to yourself. I do think you will come home to yourself and all the parts of you that feel fragmented will integrate themselves into a very beautiful synchronized whole. So your, your lower self, your higher self, your inner teenager, your inner child, all of them are coming together to help you propel and push yourself forward to new heights. So there's a lot of harmony happening and you might feel very exhausted and burnt out and tired even if you don't do a lot of things sometimes because there's a lot of these internal processes taking place for you just because it's not tangible does not mean it's not real right pile number three so you're rebooting your system you're, you're getting an upgrade in your ios Th that's the best way i can put it and it's really important that like you, like i said you know in all the piles ground yourself when you're going through these upgrades and you're not very connected to your earth and the body, it gets more difficult. Any kind of upgrades, especially psychic ones. It's, it's so important that you find solace in nature. Go to the beach, go to the mountains, whatever you like, do it. It's very important that you do. You're definitely being awakened to your higher calling. So definitely check out Lucas reading. It would be very interesting to see what your soul star chakra has to say on this. But I do feel finally you're able to even intercept the higher realms. You're understanding that 
there are higher forces at play in your life. So whatever redirection happens right now, it is for the best, even if it might feel painful. For example, if a lion gets something, something pointy stuck in its foot, it's going to be in a lot of pain. And in order to be free of the pain, he might have to experience a little more pain when the, the needle or whatever is removed. Instead of that being a prolonged thing where you're not removing the needle, but you're just walking around with the needle in your foot. So even experiencing a bit of pain right now is better than the prolonged suffering that could happen later. So really rip the bandage. I think that's what I'm really trying to say over here, especially with people. Because right now there is a lot of growth happening and this growth will not happen if you have a lot of people in your energy. I am Badri, so please understand this. And I think the more you manage your energy better, the more you manage where you're putting your attention, where you're putting your awareness, and you're just being more mindful about even the subconscious destructive patterns and tendencies that we all have, and sort of mastering that and bringing it into light, that will again help you really go after your ideas and dreams in a more efficient way where you're not burning out your body. So there's, there's a very heavy emphasis on that. And like I said, your higher chakras are also very, very active right now. You're definitely getting a vision of the future. You're getting creative ideas right now. All the ideas you get right now are super, super fertile. So write them down, even if you're not taking action on them, because they're sort of like opportunities are not going to be there forever. And if you, if you, this pile is definitely very artistic and creative. So I think you really understand how important it is to catch a amazing idea when, when things are flowing in your head, right? And understand that you will have the resources, the energy, the motivation, the, the drive, the will to go after these things in a very disciplined way. You, you will really be called upon to do a lot of work, but this is the kind of work that will make you emotionally happy and give you the returns in the long run. So even I think what your psychic visions are telling you is something very practical over here that you can create heaven on earth. You already are creating it. You just have to realize what you're doing. And I do think you're maybe keeping yourself a little too quiet. You need to speak up more. You need to express whatever is happening with you a little more. You need to even, if you if you are in a public platform or whatever over here, which I do feel it is the case for a lot of y'all, or even if you're not on the public platform, even if you're a teacher or something, use your voice. Your voice has power and I don't think you you completely understand the power your voice has because you haven't maybe had a lot of people tell you the effects you've had on them, but it is very, Important. And I think you have a, uh, you have a more, I think you have a more subtle way of influencing people, how the moon influences the, the tides. I think that's more of your energy. So it is nevertheless very potent, even if it is intangible. So understand this about yourself and yes, only speak when necessary, only speak when really required, but do speak when, when you're naturally, you, you, you go inwards. It's, it's really important to keep that balance. And for you, this pile particularly, it is more about being in your body than being in other dimensions. And I do feel this is a part of your karmic lesson in this lifetime to not sort of martyr yourself and to not martyr your health or your body in any sort of a way to, to anything. So this is some heavy, heavy stuff that you're alchemizing, but you're doing an amazing job. And at the end of the tunnel, there is light. We do have the sun card. So you're going to be very happy and you're going to be more stable than you have ever been. So even if stability is an issue, it is, it is coming towards you very, very soon. But the more you feel stable in your body and mind, the more you can reflect that outwards to anything and everything coming towards you. So internal changes is equal to external changes for you. Pile number three. Yeah.
Shuffle some Oracle. Okay, so we have a few cards. We have Raven, Dragon, Frog, and Camellia. And Raven reads Shaman. You're the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as the keeper of the mysteries. Like I was said, like I was saying, your voice is very important. It's very potent. It's like a missile. So you will be bringing about the changes that you see right now, and you you will have the power to do that. You will be able to just switch into that lane for yourself very very smoothly it's not going to be as difficult as things have been to this point by number three i really need you to understand this and the dragon card reads supernatural you are the ancient wise sage you can shapeshift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity and this is the year of the dragon so really tap into that majestic proud confident yet humble and graceful dragon energy. Dragons don't have to be blowing fire out of their mouth all the time to prove how powerful they are, right? It's a quiet confidence. They're cocky, but they're still very quiet about it. And that's the energy you need to be in, by number three. I think that's the best way I can put it. And with the Camellia card, I, it's, it's, it's about beauty. You really need to follow your heart. You need to follow your divine visions. You need to follow your gut calling, whatever is Asked of you to create right now, which might even look like going against a grain, do it. That's what you need to really do right now. And the frog cards read and the frog card reads prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. So it's about pacing yourself in whatever you're trying to achieve over here. It's not going to be a quick fix for you. It's going to be a long-term investment and getting returns on that in a very stable way so really pace yourself in what you're trying to achieve over here and really enjoy the process don't make it something mundane it doesn't have to feel like work even if you're working find the joy in what you're trying to create and get a little lost in it so you will be able to be super productive and be really happy and content being super productive that is really the message for you over here pile number three and if you're not already in this energy i see you being very very close to being in this energy and your patience is going to pay off in ways you can't even imagine so you have so much to look forward to you have so much just joy and happiness waiting just waiting for you you're almost there but Respect yourself, respect the time you are experiencing right now. Understand that this is going to be something you will look back and think of very fondly. You're going to be very nostalgic about these magical moments in your life where you really feel that there is something more divine at work and at play than just yourself. So you will also find that sense of communion with your higher self over here, by number three. I really feel that very strongly. Any other messages? Yeah, that's all I have for pile number threes. Again, it's a general reading. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video. Share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading. And, and definitely do check out Luca's reading. I will link it in the description box below. Definitely do go ahead and go to his channel. Go show him lots of love. Let him know you can come to Yogi. And I will see you guys in your reading. Thank you.